Uh, hey everybody, Ashley and Jerome here from Atmosphere Collectibles. Uh, we have a video to show. It's going to be half uh, new sealed and then half uh, used stuff. Uh, so <coughs> um, anyway, we'll get started on showing uh, those. I also real quick want to go over this one. is uh, So the Killers have a new album coming out next Friday. And it's called Pressure Machine. And so they've linked up with like indie brick and mortar stores uh, to like... That we have these um, like lyric books uh, with the song titles and they're really cool. And like if you want to come in and pre-order uh, or call and pre-order a copy of the album or the CD, just let me know which. But we'll hold the uh, book for you. Yeah, we'll hold the book for you. And, um, you know, they're pretty cool. It's a pretty cool like link promotion uh, for the, the new killers. Uh, also, think of it uh, the CD came out before the record on this one, uh, uh, but the record is coming out and I have them ordered, but it's the new Modest Mouse album, The Golden Casket. Well, this was like a CD t-shirt bundle that uh, I had special ordered, um, and uh, honestly, like, I'm excited to hear it. I haven't actually listened to it, and... Um, so that, that's a really cool piece there, but, um, yeah, some titles they're coming out with, it's got the CD first, uh, and then the vinyl comes out and then some people will just, some artists will hold back their CD and release it all at the same time. It's just pressing plants are so backed up that see, they can get CDs out faster than they can get the vinyl. So it's a matter of some artists want to wait until do it all at once, but. So now we're going to show some records. Mm. This is a Billion Dollar Nightmare, Alice Cooper. And this is a radio broadcast. And it's on a colored vinyl. I, it may be purple. I'll have to double check the color of the vinyl, but it's supposed to be on colored vinyl anyway. Um, I may have shown one of these in the last video, but I got an, uh, another of the New Tone Poets, Sonny Clark. It's called My Conception. It's a... Uh, Got Donald Byrd on trumpet, Hank Mobley, uh, Sonny Clark, of course, and Paul Chambers on bass, and Art, ba Art Blakey on drums. So that's probably a pretty big deal. Uh, definitely, maybe Oasis. I think we had got one of these in last week, too. Yes, we did. <laughs> so, uh, fast seller. Well, it had been out of stock for a while, and then I had to order. And then, uh, so another thing that had been out of stock, and I'm trying to get, you know, keep them in stock is uh, MF Doom, Operation Doomsday. Uh, I also have the silver cover uh, out in the bins, too, of the same album. It's really kind of neat. But, uh, yeah, uh, up, you'll probably be seeing me showing them in videos, like, at least one in each video for a while. When life gives you lemons, you paint that shit gold. Uh, atmosphere. I think we showed one of these last week, too. Yeah. So, that's strong. Isn't that your favorite Atmosphere album? It probably is. It's one yeah. of Bob's houses. And, uh, yeah. Um, so, I've got another... I got a restock of the Blue Note uh, Classic Series, uh, Dexter Gordon Go. Um, these Classic Series are great quality at a really great price, so uh, we're happy to keep those in stock as they're available. Depeche Mode Ultra, back in stock. Yes. And now, the Ultra is a little pricier of a, a title compared to some of the other, uh, but it's also one that you don't see very often, so... All right, so this is uh, the Florida Georgia line. It's called Life Rolls On. It's their most recent album. And when it came out, I had, like, I think I was only able to get one copy. It was, like, out of stock, like, immediately. So, anyway, uh, it finally came back in. So, if, if you missed out on it when it was available, when it released. It's Only Us, the Monophonics, which I believe we also showed last week. Yes, <laughs> because I love them. And uh, I opened up the last copy and just so play it in the store. So now I'll have one for the walls. This is another one I think I did show in the last video. But uh, I got a couple more copies from this distributor. It's LA Guns, Cocked and Loaded Live. It's a 2LP set. So Peter Gabriel, so... Yes. Classic record. It is, yeah. Um, I've got a couple copies of this in here so they could be sprinkled. It's the Foo Fighters self-titled. Uh, I just had somebody ask me about that one. Yeah. So I have one of these for a special order, then I have another copy for the bins, and then I'll just try to keep it in stock. So it's Foo really a popular channel. title. Sonic Youth Goo, another classic record. 
Happy to have back in the back. Restock of Bob Marley Legend. It's the best set of Bob Marley. Um, this is a really popular title, so. Echoes in the Canyon with a tear in the shrink wrap. Well, um, that's a soundtrack to a Netflix documentary. Yes. Or uh, a documentary that's on Netflix. Yeah, it looks like it's got um, Beck, Josh Honey, Fiona Apple, Roy Jones, uh, Regina Spector. So Neil Young, Eric Clapton, and Stephen Stills. Uh, we've heard oh, a lot of yeah. buzz about this documentary, and we still haven't got a chance to watch it uh, just because my family's been in town, and then uh, now they're out of town. So back to work, hardcore for Ashley. Uh, this is a new title, and it I it's a limited edition splatter vinyl. It's Salt and Pepper Push It, but it's uh, it's on side A. It's got Push It. It's got the and then it's got the instrumental. And then side B has Shoop and What a Man. So it's, I didn't, you know, it was. It's kind of crazy. Too. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah. Aw. Um, all right. Straight away, Sunbolt. And this is uh, Music, music on Vinyl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so, a new title. Or I think it just comes out, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. So this is The weekend, and it's After Hours. Uh, I believe this is just a black vinyl version. Um, the colored splatter versions, I think, out of stock at the moment. So, but you know, it's just a, a good title to get in. Hot Rocks. This was a uh, record store day. But that also. was, yeah, that was. So this is not. the uh, black vinyl, I believe. Yeah. And uh, this is just a classic compilation. If you don't own and it, and it's you a lot should. cheaper than what the record store day one was. So, so. I mean. We are just listening to the Rolling Stones like crazy lately. We have been. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is another, uh, this is a new title. It's Alice Coltrane, Hunt Huntington Ashram Monastery. Monastery. Um, so, yeah, I've heard a lot about this album. So, um, check it out. Alice There's Alice some more Coltrane. restocks. I think we showed both of these last week. And uh, it's the. Uh, it sells really fast. Velvet Underground, uh, the first one, uh, it's got the torso back, it's kind of neat. And then we have uh, Loser Milk Hotel. That one is for a special and order. So, but I, I don't know, I may have ordered two just to have one in the bins, or I may not yeah, have. Yeah, we had one last week, so if you have okay. a special order, that's probably. Okay. Um, so, of course, I've got more of the Days and Confused, just because, like, uh, you know, I've got so many people who want it, so uh, just fulfilling more requests for that. Uh, this one came out a few months ago. It's Yellow 40 Years. It's a limited best of, and it's got a 2LP, 21 tracks. Um, so yeah. Uh, Dr. Smoke, Witching Hour. I believe it's Witching Hour. Yeah, I think I have two copies of that. That's actually one that I recommend checking out. Uh, a friend of ours, uh, uh, Michael Shellman, told me about that group, and Pulled it up and I really liked. Uh, looks like the stickers. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, oh. Yeah, but uh, anyway, that was I think the only Doctor Smoke album that was available for me to order. So, I, I, it's limited and numbered on the cover. So, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty cool title Actually, there. That, that it is the other way, but yeah. It's weird. Okay, so this one had been out of stock for a long time. Uh, it is Ace Freely Space Invader. And it says, first time on picture disc, uh, and it includes Gimme a Fillin, The Joker, and Toys. It is a 2LP picture disc, and it's kind of neat because uh, it's it's uh, kind of opens up like that. Gay yeah. Classic gay yeah. And so, uh, I, you know, that's pretty cool. So I got that so, in. another copy of Ultra. Well, one is for us. So oh, there you have it. I got a couple government mule here. Uh, we've got Government Mule. This just is called Government Mule. And then this one is Government Mule, Bring on the Music, Live at the Capitol Theater, Volume 2. I may have a Volume 1 somewhere in these boxes, but I'm not sure. But um, one of our custom customers was asking about Government Mule, so I was just picking random titles to get in. Uh, True Wisdom, and I'm not even going to try to do the title on this one, so... Um, oh, it's True Widow. True Widow. Oh, actually, yeah. So I'm not sure about the title about the title at all, but 
it's a group called True Widow. Uh, there was we had a customer in uh, like a couple weeks ago, and they were telling me about this group. And I pulled it up, and it is so good. It is it's shoegaze, and um, I highly recommend if you're into like the whole shoegaze thing to definitely check out True Widow, and then whatever this album's called. But uh, I just sampled a little bit and really liked what I heard. Went ahead and hurried up and got it on my order because. I was getting ready to ship, so. Okay, this is uh, the blues and the abstract, abstract truth, and it's uh, Impulse 60, and it's got uh, Bill Evans, um, a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. so. That's one of the Verve Acoustic Sound series, and it's almost like the Verve's version of the Tone Poet. It's really nice quality. So, yeah. mm. Okay, it looks like I went all in because I've got another True Widow album and this one's another title that I can't pronounce but again it says uh, True Widow is a band that uses volume as an instrument um, as a way to convey the weight of the world anyway it says they seamlessly pull together elements of shoegaze drone and hard rock so anyway Thank you to the person who suggested we check out True Widow. I really like it, so I appreciate the recommendation. Rainbow Kitten Surprise, <laughs> uh, which is a cool name. And it's... Uh, Fever Pitch, Holy War, and Hide. Oh, wait, that's the song I Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, How to Friend, Love, and Free Fall. Yeah. So, that's a popular title. We've had it in uh, before. Uh, this is down. Joy Division, Closer. Classic album. I mean, obviously, we're big fans of Joy Division, so. Uh, That's where we got our name. We got our name uh, and our font for our logo. The Sidewinder, Lee Morgan. Blue Note, yeah. classic series. These go pretty fast, but we try to keep them in stock. That was the first. Like that was one of the first of the Blue Notes uh, classic series. So it was, you know, t it's usually been out of stock. So I'm really excited that I've been able to get them in again at this. point you know, months later after it came out. Helmet, meantime, another classic. We've got uh, Travis Scott, Astro World. Just stocking, you know, stocking our bins with some hip hop that was lacking. Tremonti, a dying machine. I think that's how you say that, Tremonti. Yeah. Tremonti. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so this is Harry Styles, Fine Line. I've got Harry Styles, um, I think it's just self-titled out there on the floor. So, Morphine, Cure for Pain. This is just a great record. Um, now that's the Light in the Attic uh, reissue pressing. Uh, I know music, I think Music on Vinyl also has a pressing of it. Uh, I want to say that we have a Light in the Attic of one of their titles and then a Music on Vinyl on a couple of their others. They all sound wonderful, and it's one of our favorite right. bands. So, and it, it's a great band. And if you only check out one, this is the one. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so this was supposed to be a record store day title, but it just got pushed to normal release. And then I also didn't realize it was, uh, you know, small. Anyway. So it's a limited edition shaped picture disc, uh, Mastodon Fallen Torches. And it comes with the record store day stickers. So. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these ones that got pushed to normal release uh, still had the record store day, you know, sticker on them. So. Nativity in Black. Uh, the Black Sabbath tribute. I was surprised to get that in. Uh, yeah. I guess I had it on back order and it was just like, it popped up. So, uh, it's a little pricier of a title, but it's a good one to have in. Uh, this one I had back ordered a long time ago. And uh, I think someone asked for it, but they probably found it in the meantime because it took this long. It's Motion City soundtrack, even if it kills me. So, Alice Cooper, welcome to my nightmare. Uh, uh, Aesop Rock, Appleseed. This is pressed on translucent marble smoke vinyl. And it does come on vinyl, and it's the first time it's on vinyl. So, Aesop Rock. Necronomicon, uh, this is an 80s German band, not the uh, <laughs> the other band, but this was their first, and it's uh, like Celtic Frost or Saw Them, or it's a great record. Uh, Total, from Joy Division to New Order, this is the best of Joy Division and New Order, all on one 2 LP set, it's really cool, happy to have it in. Slaughter. 
Stick it to ya. Stick it to ya. That's a Friday music reissue, and I've been trying to keep it in stock as long as I'm as long as they have a low quantity of it. But I do pop in every once in a while. So Dave Matthews Band, Under the Table and Dreaming. Uh, nice. Armor of Bestial Hell, Enthroned, Black Metal. <laughs> uh, got another Foo Fighters. I've also got a restock of Earl Sweatshirt, Doris. Bathory, the third one. Um, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I think we have I mean, one for Jerome probably, and then we have one on the floor because I think I did show one in the last video. Um, got another Salt and Pepper, uh, another Kanye West College Dropout. I think, I think I have someone already want this one maybe. Um, Minor Threat back in stock, another great record. Okay, so I think. Uh, we got one of these in last week, and Jerome had I, once one, so uh, we'll have one on the floor, and then one is for Jerome. It's a Pestilence Extivium or something like that. It's a newer Pestilence. Yeah, Jerome's I'm not a sure huge how fan of Pestilence. To be pronounced, so. but yeah, they're yeah. a great band. <laughs> um, Mac Miller and Good AM, I believe. Yeah. Surprise, I came back in stock. I mean, I try to keep Mac Miller on order at all times. It's just they go in and out of stock. So we've got uh, Chris Young, Famous Friends. This is a new release. I've also got a normal black vinyl version of the uh, new newest At The Gates. It's called The Nightmare of Being. Okay, we've got a restock of Nick Drake, Pink Moon, because we just love this album so much. We want to have it in almost, you know, at all times, If basically. Like, it sells, I got to try to order it again. Um, we got another copy of Depeche Mode Violator. Um, so I had a couple of these are special orders, um, and it's a group called If These Trees Could Talk, and it's Red Forest. This one's Red Forest. And then this one is a uh, If These Trees Could Talk Above the Earth, Below the Sky. And this one's on gray marbled vinyl. It's a reissue that came out this year. And then on the Red Forest, it's violet marbled vinyl. Um, I believe if they may have a couple copies left of these. So if somebody sees this and they decide they want a copy, just let me know. And I'll try to get more in, but that one's a special order. Uh, restocks of Metallica, Master of Puppets, uh, Dead Kennedys, Bedtime for Democracy. More Taylor Swift. Um, Gojira, Magma. This one had been out of stock for a really long time. I had it back ordered and it just popped in, so I grabbed it. Weezer, Pinkerton. Uh, believe it or not, this is a special order. Uh, it's Don McLean, American Pie. I'm like, I should have a used copy of this lane, and I just haven't had time to, you know, find a BG Plus copy. So, got that in. Time to Die, like the Wizard. Great record. Oh, it says it comes with a poster, too. Okay, so this is the Porcupine Tree, and it's called Light Bulb Sun. It's a 2LP set. set. It says the classic album from 2000. Featuring the single singles, uh, she moved moved on, and four chords that made a million. But um, you know, if you're a fan of uh, was it Steve Wilson or Porcupine Tree, uh, we've got a friend who just loves Porcupine Tree, and uh, so anyway, that's pretty cool to get that in. McCoy Tyner expansion. So and this is a Tom poet. Let's see. Then we've got uh, Happiness Begins, Jonas Brothers' new album. <laughs> so, interesting. So now we're going to so show some used. All right. Let's see. Okay. So, this is a big one that we got in uh, for trade. And it's... Uh, 
you know, we weren't able to get this in through our distributor distributors at like a retail price. We got it in, um, you know, af after our, after after market prices were crazy. So uh, when we go to price, it will try to be, you know, reasonable and fair, fair but it's still like, you know, we have more in it than we would if we had ordered it through our distributor. But it is a ultra disc one step pressing from Mobile Fidelity of Mingus Ah uh, um, Charles Mingus. So it's still factory sealed. Uh, this is like limited to 6,000 and it is numbered on the back. This one's uh, 1,035, but still sealed. It's uh, pressed on super vinyl. Adam Hart Mother, uh, the second version with the cleared up sky, 1970. So the second pressing? Uh, Winchester pressing. Yeah, it's. All right. Got a, another used copy in of the Beastie Boys, Paul's Boutique. That's my favorite Beastie Boys album. Book of Talisman, Deep Purple. This is an original. However, it does have a uh, about a two-inch seam splared on the top. But uh, these are kind of hard to find. So. Okay. Okay, Layla and other love songs. Derek and the Dominoes. Sorry about that. Oh, that's all right. Um, great record. So this is a uh, Death Waltz uh, soundtrack of Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. So it's music by John Carpenter in association with Alan Howarth. And um, it's got a cool cover here where, you know, it's like kind of folded inside like an envelope back here. And it opens out. But um, it's got the uh, cards inside and the little, it's like a. It's just super great packaging. Like they always do. Yeah, Death Walls, Mondo, Waxworks. I mean, their packaging is like the the coolest. <laughs> Rock and roll animal, Lou Reed, and this is uh, RCA pressing. Um, I believe yes, and it is an original. I got a uh, just a normal reissue of uh, Enter the Wu Tang, Thirty Six Chambers, Wu Tang Clan. Great record to have in. Lou Reed Transformer 1972. This is also an indie RCA pressing and it is an original. So, um, this is a group called Arsonist Get the Girls. Ar Arsonist Get All the Girls. And it's called Portals. Um, Those records are extremely hard to come yeah, by. I mean, it's a picture disc on one side. Wow. And then on the other side, like this side's black. Um, but. Yeah, I want to say that these aren't that old. Oh, this is just uh, black on both sides, but uh, it's just they've they've been out of stock and on the aftermarket they just have really gone up. So that's uh. They were all one. limited pressings. Yeah. So. Um, this is a 1973 uh, first press of Queen Queen. So. So I've got a reissue of the Misfits Collected. Uh, and then I've also got this Misfits Evil Live Wolf's Blood. So this is like a bootleg from, do you know the like, or what the recording is from? Actually, it's uh, one that I can't figure out the date on because the originals. Um... Well, it's got uh, We Are 138 with additional guest vocals by Henry Rollins on one song. but Right, well, that's that's uh, uh, Evil Live. It's got, okay. This actually has Earth AD. Wolf's Blood and Evil Live all on one record. But these originally came out, uh, the originals said they were made in um, the original Poland. And this version here says it was made in Madrid. So this is a second said, press, and I have no idea what year it's from. <laughs> here, I'll put this over here in that. Um, go ahead. Oh, uh, we've got Every Time I Die, New Junk Aesthetic. Uh, this is a black vinyl, and um, yeah, gate okay, cool. Every time I die. All right, this is a label variant of the Rolling Stones. Between the buttons, so early press, London Blue label. <laughs> uh, this is the Chariot, and it's called Long Li Long Live. And it is kind of like a white with, you know, smoke or black kind of streaks or marble. Um, it's numbered on the back uh, out of a limited of 2,000 runs. So. 
This is a first press of Let It Bleed, and it is, um... You need your glasses? No. I mean, I think everything's printed on the right of the label is what it is. Yeah. It has a pink inner sleeve, and uh, no poster, though. No poster. Uh, it's got Give Me Shelter, which is just amazing song. Okay, so I have some... A couple albums from the Acacia Strain. Um, so we've got Acacia Strain, Death is the Only Mortal. This one's like on clear vinyl. Those are all really hard to get. Yeah. Uh, some of the, the person who sold those to us, like he was sort of, you know, he's really into all the different variants. And like some of them were like, you know, higher priced. And uh, this one's the Acacia Strain. It comes in waves. So not all of the ones he sold are like the most expensive of the variants, but we have gotten some pretty pricey ones from him. That one's really pretty. Um, so we got that one. Uh, and then this one's kind of crazy because it's still sealed. It is um, the Acacia Strain and um, just not for sure. Oh, here we go. Uh, Thirsty or $37.50. And that is the uh, reprint of that one. Yeah. And then a last one from the Keisha strain that I'll show is uh, really a cool one. It comes with a stencil, like a silk screen cover, uh, like slip over, you know, kind of like that. It comes with a slip mat. And then we have this one's uh, the slow decay and it is sealed. So, um, we also have, we have a copy of this album of over there too. Yeah. And it just we happened. have the seven inches. Like they, the, they yeah, we do have seven the whole well. set of the seven inches. So, yeah. um, some of this That's stuff we just haven't gotten too. out on the floor yet or we, you know, but, um, these just came in. So I thought I was excited to show those. Go ahead. Uh, the best of iron butterfly evolution. Um, <laughs> or, I mean, I would just, just like, we'll kind of wrap it up or go a little qu quicker, I think, because yeah. our video is getting long. Uh, so we've got Gojira Fortitude. This is the indie version. Um, Raw Power of Stooges. This is a 1973. It's kind of pricey, but it is a great record. Yeah. Uh, David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust. And then I've got another David Bowie. I've got um, Diamond Dogs. Now, I think I have someone looking for uh, Ziggy Stardust, so I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, so I'll check with them. Uh, Aerosmith, Toys in the Attic. Uh, Brownsville Station, yeah. London, Chuck Berry, and we're going to shut it down now. It's pretty much oh, most go of through? what we're going to Yeah, show. we've got a lot of great, like, used classic rock. We've got Deep Queen, Purple, Made in Japan. Sheer Heart Attack, Your Eye Heat, John Mayall, uh, Jazz Blues Fusion, uh, Almond Brothers Band. Uh, we've got a nice copy of the Woodstock. It's a good, in good shape. Uh, Steve Miller Band, Greatest Hits. And we have a lot more used. These are just some of the ones we picked out the show. More Almond Brothers at Fillmore. Uh, this is a cool radio radio broadcast. It's Frankenstein. Oh, this is one of Jerome's favorite. Uh, Hawkwind. Doremi Face Fossil Latito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I like Hawkwind. I just can't read. <laughs> Moon Tan with a gold earring. We love gold earring too. Yeah, this album especially, it's just. And then the uh, last one I'll show, although we do have lots more good stuff. Uh, Roy Rory Gallagher Irish Tour seventy four. I mean, we love Roy Rory Gallagher. And to find the early prints and the originals are really getting hard. So, and there's a lot more down here we could show, but we've got people outside, so. Yep. So, it. anyway, thanks for watching. Um, have a great weekend. Oops. <laughs>